Right then guys, I haven't done a console um, video for quite a while. Um, I'm aiming to get a few more videos about all the consoles I've been collecting over the last few months um, up there on YouTube. So tonight, sorry about the lighting not being the best, we're going to look at a master system. Um, so the lighting isn't the best. That I picked up my um, feedback about 20 quid, 30 quid, something like that, a few months back. It's in excellent condition. Um, you probably can't see because of the poor light, but it's still got the kind of protective factory plastic stickers um over some of the detail on the console it's in great condition came with one pad um an rf lead and an official um power supply which is great um i bought a scart lead for it but um when i plugged it into my tv some of the colors are quite murky so i've gone back to um using an rf lead to play games i don't know if there's something wrong with my master system it's a poor lead or does it just normally display um you know when it's got a scart lead um, you know, in, in, in dirty colours, um, you know, like muddy down a bit. Just someone please let me know. Um, so I'm not too bothered because it looks fine if a little bit fuzzy with the RF lead on the modern TV. Right, um, let's have a look at the games I've got then. Got Fantasy Zone, Boxed, Afterburner, Rock A, Wonder Boy, Ghostbusters, and the games which are incredible. Really easy to pick up on eBay in the UK and really, really cheap as well. So we've got Masters of Dark, Master of Darkness, Master Game, that's collection about three games. Shinobi, uh, Secret Command, which is Rambo in the US. Ultima 4, Sonic, Galaxy Force, Rastan, G-Lock, and Operation Wolf. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this video um, I'll just plug each of the games and give you a few, you know, a few seconds what they look like with their intro screens and stuff. Just to show what it looks like running on a, a modern um, LCD TV running through the the RF. I haven't got any cards. Um, I'll make another video and I can pick up pick up some cards off eBay to play. Um, they're a bit bit too pricey for what they are. Twenty pounds. I don't even pay that. So I'm just waiting for a bit of a bargain to come up. Rest assured, as soon as I've got one, I'll, I'll put a video of a card working. This is, I think. The review, the second revision or the 1.5 revision. This is the 1988 Master System, still the original shape, but this one's got Hang On and is it Jungle Hunt or Safari Hunt or something built in when you pair it on? Plus the Snake Maze game, but I can't remember the joypad uh, thing you've got to do to do it when you boot up. But anyway, this is what happens when you boot up. You get an option of Hang On or the other game. Okay, just get my controller. Bear with me. Oh, so push the button, and there you go. Hang on, move the jump button. So that's the, through an RF. Tiny bit fuzzy, but perfectly playable on a modern TV. Right, let's plug some games into it. Oh, and that's what the pad looks like as well. Great condition. Popping Operation Wolf. So again, got that for a few quid on eBay, not much. Great conversion, this is just a shame. Um, you can play it with the joypad, but you can't play it with light, light phaser. Oh, I haven't got the cartridge put in properly. Work with me. <laughs> Give it a magic blow as well. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, but you can play this one with the joypad, it's a great conversion of Rock Wolf. But you need an old school CRT TV to use the light phaser, which I haven't got, unfortunately. Yeah. Hopefully we'll play a uh, classic intro scene where the guy's getting suited up. Like an anti action film. Yeah, there it is. Not animated like the arcade game though. So yeah, yeah I always stick some when I was a kid when he used to sit out in the arcade. Suited and getting his Uzi ready. Okay, so that's Hot Wolf. No gameplay there because I just, you know, I'll just show you the games as they are. G Lock. I um, don't think I've actually played this before, and so let's just have a look. Um, remember it being a really sh showy arcade game. 
Mega Drive conversion will be great. This is supposed to be quite a decent little game on the Master System. So I say, I've never played it though. So I probably didn't play on the Master System, but not knowing I had a Mega Drive and I had very little interest in the Master System back then. So we get a game plan. No, look at the gameplay, what a show. Okay. Rastan, yeah. This is uh, a great port to the arcade game. Um, the music, you know, in non FM mode, because it hasn't got the FM chip because it's a European Master System, uh, kind of does my head in. This gameplay is great, though, and it's a, it's a great conversion in the arcade game. Hopefully, just get a bit of demo there for you as well. Are we getting any demo? Oh, you get all that scrolling text nonsense. Anyway, if you want to see, oh, hang on, we might get some gameplay. Just bear with me. Yeah, just check this out. So there's no music, but yeah, looks great, plays great, lovely port. Love this game on the arcades and the 8 bit systems back in the day. Never got a chance to play on the Master System though, but now I do. Okay, so that's Rastam. Galaxy Force. Uh, yeah. Master System can't cope with this. Um, but I got it for about a pound. And it was just really just to test the system works. And it's alright, but it's not exactly fun. So the arcade game just make you just, you know, drop your jaw when you saw it with the graphics back in the day. Right, it's Sonic. This is good. It's a great game. Um, it's good. It's, it's as good as a Mega Drive, just well. Maybe not as good as a Mega Drive, but it's a different kind of game, slightly, to the Mega Drive version. It's, it's just, oh, no, that'll need a blow on the car. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure some of the console purists will hate me for blowing on the carts, but it does actually work. Yeah, really good games. So you can see this is within 50 hertz, you can see the big horrible borders. Um, I may well run, uh, get this modded to 160 hertz, but I've got to need to make sure the SCART lead um, actually displays a lot better, I've just got a dodgy lead. Because if this one won't output good SCART, I don't think you can run the 60 hertz Mega Drive on it. Sorry, 60 hertz Master System on RF lead. It'll probably come out black and white or something. Anyway, if you can give me some information about that, that'd be great if anyone knows. Right, with Sonic. This is a really technically impressive game for the Master System, Ultima 4. Really good role playing game. Always wanted it, always wanted to play it. It's been on every kind of 8 bit system known to man back in the mid 80s, early 80s. And then was strangely ported to the Master System in 1990 and reprogrammed by Sega. Yeah. Battery backup still works on this. Let me just check. Oh, hang on. Uh, Journey onwards, yeah. Yeah, amazingly, the battery still works. So there I am. This someone's replaced it over time, but I always love it when a nearly 30 year old game, the battery still works. Incredible. All right, that was ultimate. Secret Command. 
It's like um, Commando Ikari Warriors. Had a sprite change. Um, it was called Rambo. Uh, that's, uh, the internet tells me it was just a US release, but I could swear I saw Rambo or played Rambo on the Master System in the UK. Um, I could be wrong. I think I went to some video games competition like in the late 80s and I had a game of Rambo, not Secret Command. But there you go. There you go. Good cooking game, good fun. Quite hard. Well, good fun. I'm dead. Next one. <coughs> the classic Shinobi. Lovely intro screen on this, looks great. Plays great. This is another one that's got the FM sound, if you can get the FM ch ch chip uh, put in there. Um, graphics are great, plays great. Sounds okay. As I say, I prefer the FM version, but yeah, look at that for a title screen. It's great. Put a lot of effort into uh, their arcade conversions to the Master System Pre, Mega Drive, Sega did. Okay guys, uh, sorry about the video, just jumping there at the end of Shinobi. Um, unfortunately, you know, first world Apple problems, my iPhone's only 16 gig and it's run out of space. I've tried to delete a few things and I just haven't got enough space to finish this video off. So I'm going to get that sorted out and I'll get back to you. So look at this video as a part one of sorts and what we'll do, start with Rocky for the next video, I'll just go through my boxed Master System games. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry about the lighting, but at least it gives you a show of you know, uh, the Master System, what you can kind of collect at reasonable prices from eBay. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Keep it locked for part two. Take care.